So, uh, fun fact, folks from Holland can drink. Today we're taking time to speak with Erica of Erica's Originals over at a bar in Brooklyn called Iona. Now before we get into the video, I want to preface one thing. Uh, I live in New York City. There are noises consistently. There are ACs running all the time, there are people talking, and sometimes there are babies crying. Luckily, only two of those three things were exhibited at the location we were at. So fortunately, there's no babies crying, but you will hear noises in the background. <laughs> all so kinds of noises like, yeah. <laughs> like I said, sorry guys, city life. Well, hi, I'm Erica and I am obviously the owner of Erica's Originals. I make a lot of immense straps, as a lot of you know, and that's basically what I do, because I don't have time for anything else at the moment. Can you tell us about your, because it's not really the industry we're talking about? No, absolutely. Yes. It's a completely different industry, because I have really big feet, and it's very hard for me to buy shoes, any shoes. I decided to make my own sandals, and all bespoke leather sandals and I make a lot of them and from one thing came yeah one thing led to another thing oh my god my English is killing me I'm sorry <laughs> well my husband is a doxa collector and he asked me at one point to make uh, an, a watch strap for his doxa I think it's actually this model I'm wearing right now mm. and he asked me to make a strap out of the parachute webbing like the marine divers used to do in the 70s. So I ordered some uh, old parachutes and started tearing them apart and start experimenting with this uh, webbing. And we came up with an adjustable strap for his doxa. And he was so thrilled with this strap and he was so happy with it that he posted a, a picture of it on Instagram. And immediately all his friends from Instagram like, she needs to make me one place please can she make one for me also please i need one so from there on it kind of spiraled out of control and i'm sending them all over the world yeah i think the the turning point was when we were on family vacation and i got an email from a customer who's telling me okay i'm sending you this link from the gray nato and they are speaking about your straps can i please order one of your straps the Grey NATO, who is the Grey NATO? I didn't even know what the Grey NATO was. And then I listened to the, this blog from Jason Heaton and Jay Stacey, and they were speaking about my MN straps. I never met the guys, never. But they were speaking about my MN straps, and I think after this, it really went berserk. Requests from all over the world came. And I, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I don't have time to do anything else. Um, it's basically the same answer. Uh, everything grows organically because I had to uh, come up with a new piece of hardware for the immense strap. The first piece, the hook, is from the parachute. The second piece, the small piece, is from the parachute. But this one I had to make myself, especially to make the strap adjustable and make it like this. And then uh, because the MN strap, the green, the original with the yellow center line was such a big hit, people started asking me like, Erica, please, this strap is so crazy comfortable. I need different colors. I can't be wearing the green all the time. Can you please make me a black strap? Can you please make me a blue strap? So from there on, I'm searching always for different kind of colors, but it needs to be the same quality. Yeah, I make a lot of leather straps and I usually make leather straps from old MO bags or MO uh, leather bags, uh, the belts. So the, the real old vintage leathers with a really beautiful patina and I make them all custom. So why was that? Why, why did you go with that? Uh, you, you can't fake it. It's the, the leather, the old leathers, they're so stunningly beautiful. The patina on that leather, you can't fake it. It's, it's beautiful. Just as it is and then when you cut up an old bag or an old belt or whatever and you make it uh, new you make it a new strap it's like gorgeous it's just gorgeous oh I have lots of plans lots of plans I'm working on the new colors as we speak uh, they're on display at watch fair uh, at wind up 
you can see the new colors there. This is the new green I'm actually wearing right now. I have the gray, the sand, the real dark navy blue and with all different kind of center lines. So there's a whole new line of a men's straps. And actually I'm working on a real special uh, project at the moment, but I can't really say too much about it. But it's huge. I'm thrilled and I, <laughs> I would love to tell you about it, but it's just a tad bit too soon. So more to come, yeah, absolutely. It's a doxa, obviously. <laughs> Everything in our house is doxa. This is uh, actually the doxa it all started with. It's the diving star, I think it's 73, 74. Mm. And it's a gorgeous watch, who just loves being on an MN. What was your first watch? I have absolutely no idea. Please don't ask me this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember? I, I really don't remember, no. no. Okay. I got first... it from my grandmother, but I have no idea what kind of brand it is. And it's still in Holland, otherwise I would have oh, picked it up and it. looked it up. Of course, everything. Huh? Everything. My parents still live in my house where I was uh, brought up. So there's like a big box marked Erica. <laughs> and I <laughs> I have to pick it sometime, but it's ab absolutely Actual Erica's I, originals. Yes. <laughs> Actual yes. No. There it is. I don't know if it's really a philosophy, mm. but um, I think you need you need to have passion for it. You, mm. you do it right or please don't bother. Don't fake it. Don't try and imitate any anyone else. I get a lot of questions from customers who have bought straps from me and say, oh, can you make a strap like so-and-so? And I say, yeah, please, I, of course I can, but please contact so-and-so because they make the straps like this. And if you want a strap like this, please buy their strap and don't ask me to imitate one because I don't see the use. Mm. I don't see the point, really. As I, I said earlier, people put passion in their products. I, I want to see the love they, they, they have and mm. put them in their products. And this is what I like. And it doesn't have to be uh, a certain kind of brand. It doesn't need uh, to be, I don't know how to say it. Um, for me, the, the, the brand is not interesting. I really love uh, watches like we uh, spoke about earlier that just say time. Mm. I don't need a lot of uh, things on my watch like the date. The, I don't even know what what options are <laughs> are all available. But I need it to be clean. I need it to be straightforward. And this is the same with everything. It Sometimes like I need to go back to Dutch, but you probably won't understand. Some yes. audience will. Yeah. Some, some Somebody, of audience yeah, will. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Oh, I think you should answer that question. Should I? Buy? Yeah, should I think I? so because you bought one of my straps, and you, you can give it's your true. opinion. Okay, okay. I'll, let me sit down with you then. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see what you've looked like this whole time. Hi. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think you should buy Erica's Originals because uh, you're dealing with a very honest individual with a lot of integrity. She cares about the product she's making. She's very passionate about it, and it shows with the products. You know, she's not trying to infuse any sense of like heritage into what she's making. She's not trying to sell you on this perceived sense of heritage or prestige. It's just baked into what you're getting. It is the product already. Uh, it's pretty astronomical to find a group that does that and provides it at a great cost for consumers like us. And I think that's pretty basically why I, I bought that first strap. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I like See? I love my MN strap. It's, it's a fantastic strap and it goes with so many different watches. Um, green is one of those colors that goes with everything and now you're doing so many different colors. Um, gray, gray strap soon to come. <laughs> but yeah, I love them. I love them. That's why you should buy our original straps. You can, you can plug yourself now though. <laughs> And this is why you should answer the question. Yeah. Obviously. Uh, was that good? Was that a good absolutely, answer for you? absolutely. You'll take my answer? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I had such an amazing experience speaking with Erica. And what you guys don't know, um, you know, I spent a couple hours at the bar afterwards that evening speaking with both her, her husband, and her son. She actually came into New York with her family to visit the wind up fair this year. And uh, she was courteous enough to invite me out to interview her at a public gathering she set up over at Iona. That's why we were there. Both her and her family were just so incredible. 
Um, very, very friendly, super easy to talk to, and really passionate people. I mean, did you see some of the pieces that were on display in this video? I mean, her, her husband, the whole family is like a serious watch collecting group. It's, it was so awesome being able to chat with them. But in the short time I did get to speak with Erica, I was just awestruck at how great this industry can be. There was a moment after the interview where we were just talking over some of the prototypes she had on display for the gathering she set up. And I was looking over them and I, I noticed a beige strap that was just absolutely stunning. And she brought out multiple examples of beige straps for me to see after noting that. And I noticed one of these prototypes for her new uh, strap range, her new MN strap range. And I, I just said, I, I just said I liked one. I wasn't fishing for anything, I wasn't trying to get anything from her, but she grabs the strap and hands it to me and says, have it. In that moment, I realized how great people can actually be. You know, she doesn't know me, I don't know her, this is literally the first time we're meeting each other, and she's kind enough to see that I really appreciate what she's doing, and is nice enough to just give me something that she's been working on for so long. I can't express how wonderful this experience was for me because it's very rare to find people that are completely genuine. Now I've never met the kind of person that would just give you the shirt off their back, but Erica would. She just cares that much.